But first to that big breaking news, we're getting the latest into the controversy of the CBI status report on the coal scam. CBI sources are now saying that it will inform the Supreme Court that Law Minister Ashwini Kumar did in fact try to interfere in the status report, which the agency uh, will go ahead with. The CBI sources say no alteration or modification though made by the minister will be presented in the Supreme Court. And the CBI also saying that they were always against any interference and the pressure put by the minister they said that they had to attend meetings. Remember yesterday the Indian Express reported that the CBI uh, Colgate report was vetted indeed by the law minister Ashwini Kumar and other PMO officials. For more on that we are joined on the phone line by Arnudhai Mukherjee. Arnudhai, what more are you picking on from your sources? Uh, well, Pallavi, uh, it's an interesting uh, turn of uh, affairs at this point in time because uh, now the CBI, the allegations were that there was uh, a scheduled meeting which took place between law ministry officials, uh, PMO officials, as well as CBI officials in which law minister Ashwini Kumar was present and that is where certain modifications were made to that status report which could have had some uh, incriminating details uh, regarding uh, companies, regarding certain important individuals as well. Uh, but now the CBI, after this controversy broke out, what we're learning from our sources is that the CBI is going to go ahead with that original status report that they had prepared before that meeting took place. Uh, the CBI has been very categorical, very clear since this story broke yesterday that uh, they are going to abide by the orders of the Supreme Court. They are going to go ahead and file that status report. This was their stand yesterday, but now uh, we're learning from our sources today that the CBI has, is making its stand even clearer. So the man who, uh, so, so the so big questions will be asked now of law minister Ashwini Kumar because the CBI has also uh, put, uh, put the entire blame squarely on uh, the law minister. Putting the blame uh, squarely on the law minister and uh, Arnudhai, no doubt this will uh, cause huge embarrassment for the government. Uh, certainly so. It, uh, and in fact, uh, it, it would be certainly embarrassing for the government and uh, more so it had become extremely embarrassing for the CBI as well because in the recent past we've seen uh, uh, a sense uh, uh, rising allegations uh, against the CBI regarding uh, a certain biases and, uh, and interference by the government. And this was another very clear example. But another question that needs to be asked is that uh, uh, what would have happened if, if this report had not come out? Uh, what would the CBI have done in that situation? Uh, because, uh, because then what was the point of having that meeting in any case? What happens to the, these two reports that were prepared? One which was the original report that the CBI prepared and the other one which was modified so as to say as per these reports uh, after that meeting took place. Uh, so then what was the point of having that meeting in any case? Why wasn't this issue raised at that time by the CBI? Why is it coming out only now? So these are some of the questions that need to be, uh, uh, that need to be answered as well, Pallavi. But having said this, the bottom line is that the CBI to go ahead with that original status report in, uh, and file that in court along with that affidavit. Remember, the Supreme Court had, uh, had urged the CBI director, Mr. Ranjit Sinha, to file an affidavit and say that there was no interference from any government body there was no interference uh, from any uh, uh, any uh, political uh, any political uh, 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 individual in this particular case. Another state. Uh, thank you for getting us that uh, quick update on that uh, status report where the CBI sources are now saying there was indeed interference from the law minister to tone, that, uh, tone down that report on that Colgate scam. We'll keep a close eye on that. More on that on our website ibnlive.com. <laughs>